Okay guys, we teased this one in a short that a lot of you got, it got a lot of attention. Um, but these are super popular, sold out pretty really quick on their website. Um, now they're on Golf Galaxy's website, which is crazy. But you see it just by the color, I'm sure you can tell what they are. They're the good, good putters. We have the mallet and we have the thick blade. Let's Only hit a few thing to do. and review them. Yeah, let's review Let's it. go. All right, don't forget guys, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. You can get fitted by us. We are carrying uh, PXG, Mura, Cobra, Srixon, Mizuno. Am I missing anything? We have all the fitting equipment in-house to fit you here. Even if you're not local and you know what you want and you just want to order something on the website, over the phone, LA Golf Putters, whatever they are, we can help you with that. Okay, Tate is a bigger fan than Good Good than me. I don't dislike these guys, but I'm not a huge, I don't sit and watch their stuff, but I'm going to tell you straight away, this is a personal preference. I know Tate and I are going to have absolutely contrasting opinions on yeah. this. I don't really care for the color. I love this blue. Do you? It's one of my I knew you were going to say that. It's what my grips are. My grips yeah, are this blue. Right. So they do give you a cool, good, good putter head. And then cover. Riding for par, that's yeah. their slogan. So this is 25% toe hang. I will tell you right away with this style, one thing I love about it, I love the little dot on the top. I really like an alignment aid on, the, aid on the very top of the putter. Looks like just a regular steel shaft that they painted black. Which is a pretty sweet touch. Yeah. Pistol grip. I do like a thin pistol grip like this. Yeah, very Scotty-like. So let's Painted. hit a few. Now I will tell you, you this. You wanna talk about the mallet? Go ahead. So the mallet has zero degree toe hang. So what is that called? Uh, even face or something? Face balance, right? Face balance, yeah, there you face go. Face balance, face to the sky. Two face. 303 stainless, so they use really good material. This should never CNC break down. CNC machined. Wear down. So kind of like a Scotty yeah, in a way. Yeah, it should have a very soft feel. So here's my only qualm before we hit these. Qualm? Qualm. This is just my opinion. I don't know this for a fact, but I've owned a retail store for almost 15 years and I'm starting to understand how manufacturing works, dealing with manufacturers. I think in the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of putter technology yeah. come onto the scene. Yep. These putters don't have any of it. Tell me about it. So you, th you talk about like the all-in-one shafts. Yep. You talk about, what do they call that? The 4321, like the LA Golf has, yeah. you know, where the face is, yeah. What, are, what did they call that It's technology? almost like a slow loft. So it helps with roll. The Cleveland putters put all the, the center of gravity in the front of the putter, which helps with top spin. Yeah. Odyssey obviously is one of the leading developers in technology. So if, even if they do have this, they're not advertising it in a way that we've seen it. No, I, it doesn't have any of that. It doesn't. So this is essentially, I mean, Scotty cameras don't have any of that either. Right. It's basically a chunk of metal that's CNC'd and they're calling it good. Yep. Good. Wow, nice. <laughs> nice um, Anyway, so what I think is going on here is they're obviously not in the manufacturing business. They found a private label putting company, threw a good, good label on it, and are calling it good. I don't I know they, if that's I true. Think, I don't I, know if that's true, but being in retail for as long as I've been in, um, and I'm not saying it's a bad putter. Well, let me just tell I'm you, just can saying, I tell you what I've seen? I'm saying that I think, and it's not a bad thing, I just am saying, this is just probably a private label putter that someone else is making. Yeah. They actually had the designer on the channel at one point. So on my way off? Yeah. And they went, they've gone through a bunch of stuff. They had different series of putters. So they had a guy in the video, they designed, he was designing this and he was designing balls. The balls were harder because they couldn't get they where couldn't they make wanted. It different. Yeah. They couldn't make it good enough without fitting each person's design, which is why they teamed up with Callaway for the balls. But the guy that designed the, started on the design with the balls is the one that designed these. Mm. Like you said, though, did he take a design that was already there? The Not even so much that. I think there's, in the last two or three years, there's a lot of really good putter technology out there. Yeah. And this is just kind of like a regular putter. But to what you said, we've seen barbecue companies have their own technology, but it comes technically out of the same factory as another barbecue company. So that yes. could be the same. That could be the They case could have here. somebody designing them, but they're manufactured by a private label company. That's, that's already making other putters. Out. Yeah. That None of this I know for a fact. That's just what I'm saying. Let's hit some and see what we think of it. Okay, let's do it. Now it's 100% CNC. I grabbed two Scotties because these are going to be the steel. most comparable. Yeah, right? we're going to compare them against our Scotties. Yep. Okay. We don't have a the Batwing Scotty style. 
Oh, drop my Scotty. Don't do that. Okay, so we putt this one a lot. It's got a slight break. You know that. Yeah, I know. I know what this putt does. I just, I'm more curious. I'm not trying to make it. Obviously, I am, but I just want to see what kind of feel I get off the putter face. And correct me if I'm wrong. Your first Scotty was that exact blade, right? The yeah, and thick I hated blade? it. I hated it. I like more of the Newport 2 shape. Yeah. Like if you're if I'm either blade. going true blade or I'm going full mallet. I don't yeah. like the little in-betweeners. But this honestly feels good. Didn't you say the one thing it does have is the loft is stronger, right? Yeah, that one's like 2.5 degrees or something. 2.5, so most putters are three or four degree. And they said that's more for more top spin. Yeah. So it does have, a, I guess, I wouldn't call it technology, but they're doing something a little different with it. And I'm not trying to call out good good. I'm just giving my opinion. I don't know how much R and D's going into this putter. All right, let me try and I, I hope I'm wrong. Maybe I am. But it feels good. But it honestly doesn't feel any different than a oh mama. It feels good. Than a CNC putter, right? No. They all kind of feel that. But have they're that also same not feel. as charging astronomical. How much are these? Three hundred bucks. Okay, so they're at least one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars cheaper, right? Yeah. It's a little ticky. Tick, you That's know? just the. How do you like the sound of it? It does sound a little tingy. Yeah. Tingy. Tick, ticky and tingy. But the roll is very true. Well, I think that's that two and a half degree. So uh, two and a half degrees are not good for me personally. Tell me so why. I tend to de-loft my putter. I have a little trigger at the top right before I hit, like, kind of like this. Yeah. So, man, this is different. It's all flat at the bottom. It's actually really good looking. How good is it scoop? Oh yeah. Um, and so I actually de-loft my putters. I play a four degree putter. Man, this is a lightweight mallet. But yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't feel bad off the face, but is anything jumping off, off the page at me? No. Which is not uncommon for putters, right, Tate? Right. Nothing against good good, but a lot of them kind of feel the same unless right. you put some different technology in them or something, right? Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of how thick this blade is. Are you a mallet or are you a blade? Make up your mind. You said their blade sold out, right? Yeah. So that's why we didn't get a blade. They make a blade. They make this bat, sort of bat wing style. This one's much softer than the mallet. A little bit. Not much. It's softer. Now, let I me hit a Scotty. Fat. I want to see the difference in feel and then tell me with your ears. Wait, hold on a sec. If you can hear anything different. Okay. I want you to listen for me. Oh gosh. What, are you, what have you done? You're so slow in your Kay. catch. I hit the ground. Are you kidding me? Mishits and putters do exist. No, this feels softer. Definitely doesn't feel it's as It's a tink. softer thud. And I like the sound better. Yeah, let's try the mallet. It feels a little, uh, like it has a little more substance to it. I don't know if that's the weights in it. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. Because it has weights in the bottom. It definitely isn't as tingy. No. And by that I mean like tin, like the, like a, the tin clink. There you go. Tate's on his phone again during the middle of the video. 340. 340 is the cost? 340 is the mallet. 320 is that one. 300 is the blade blade. So they're pretty much charging you based on materials. Yeah. So the more materials, more materials they have to use, the more the putter so is. So I'm going to tell you, after hitting the Scotty, it is I don't soft. like it. I like the Scotty better. The Scotty is softer. <laughs> but how much is that one retail in your hand? 499. 499. Yeah. So it's two hundred dollars more. But it's the most this a club most important club in the back. Yeah. But let me can I give tell you something? You please, please do. If I need a CNC milled, if I need a milled putter, and if I'm going on price, I'm not going good good because it's cheaper. I'm really going cheaper, and I'm gonna hit I think the best CNC milled or the best milled face putter on the market for the money. There should be one open right beside it with the, yeah. And that's the Cleveland, HB Soft. 
But you so can you also get the all-in-one shaft too for only 50 bucks. Yeah. Now let me see how this feels compared to the Scotty. It still feels less tingy. And it had a good thud to it. And it's $199. So it's still, a, it's another $100 cheaper. It's $100 cheaper. cheaper than good, good. Yeah. But let me ask me, answer this question. Little me this. You're 21 years old. You're just getting into golf and you're getting into golf because of good, good content. Do you have a good, good putter in the bag? Yes. Yeah. That, that's just marketing. And it's and a branding. great putter compared to the one that this kid picked up from Goodwill. If you love good, good, mm -hmm. and you're a big fanboy of theirs and you feel good having their equipment, do it. Yeah. They make good. If it makes polos, it gives you that little level apparel. of confidence and you, you just love their, their, their channel and they've motivated you to play golf, do yeah. it. It's not a bad putter. But for right. me, there's a better a one lot. on the market for price and there's a better one on the market for quality. Almost all of them. Yeah. So not, I'm not trying to hate. I'm but just saying in all reality, whatever club, the club that you need the most confidence in the bag, there's two clubs, which ones? Putter and driver. Yeah. Those are the two clubs you want confidence standing over. Putter is huge and driver's the other one. But if this putter gives you that confidence, it gives you the looks, but I'm it not buying it just on price. No. If I'm buying it on price, I'm buying a Cleveland putter. Right. So you're buying it as a good, good fan. And that's how, honestly, that's how they're manufacturing them because that's why they sell out so fast. And, and is that sort their of their push on yeah. their channel? Yeah. Like buy our putter if you like our channel type thing? No. They never really market it on the channel. All the guys use the good, good putter. Oh, they do? Yeah. yeah. But they're never like, hey, pick up our putter. Again, I'm not trying to hate on these guys. I'm just thinking about it from a straight retail standpoint and a manufacturing standpoint. Um, no, but There's that so shows our technology. honesty in the channel. Yeah. We're not, we're, we're gonna be honest truth about our reviews. But if Good Good wants us to collaborate with them, I'd be more than happy to. Yeah, give us a call. Yeah, call Shoot us and text. let us know. I All love right. the grip though, the pistol grip. Yeah, I do like the grip. That's what I like about my Scott. So overall, it's a good putter. I like putter. the black shaft, I like the color of the shaft. Yeah, it's a great putter, it's well made. But yeah, a little but tiny. But is it the best on the market? For the, not for the price and not for the quality. Quality, you could go Scotty. Price, you could go Cleveland. Um, but overall, it's a good putter. Yep. We'll see you guys next time.